Do you see anything unusual with this ceiling fan? Anything at all? Look at that. That's where your pull chain is supposed to be. Comes right out of here. And that's how you control this to high, medium, slow, off, and then back on to high. Now this chain's not there. Where did it go? See, there's no chain on there anywhere else. All right, what's the big deal with that? Well, here's what you need to know. I can only imagine what happened to that. I'm in a bedroom here, and this pole chain's gone. Somebody, some kids were probably up here on the bed pulling on that chain, or somebody got angry and jerked it because they didn't know what speed was working. And this is this is integrated in with a ceiling fan switch on the wall so they were probably trying to get it faster and they couldn't get it any faster because the switch on the wall was in the low speed and they were trying to get this to high speed and it wasn't working so they jerked down on it really hard and voila they broke the chain pulled it right out and it's broken inside of here that's my guess i don't know what happened exactly but i'll bet you that's what happened here Let me just show you. Here's where your fan switch is, way over here. You see that's right next to a light switch. And there's the fan switch. The way that a fan switch is controlled, at least this one, you got it off in that position. One is high speed, medium speed, slow speed. That's how you work this. The only way this works properly is if you have this, the fan, the pull chain on the fan, in the high speed position. Then it doesn't matter if you have a, a pull string on your fan at, at all. Do you see what I mean? If you had your pull string on high, ooh, here's your fan here, zipping around. You think that's high. It's actually on medium speed. There's another speed to this, and that's where I'm about to go with this video. All right, because there's no way that you can adjust the fan over here to get it to the high speed anymore. Because this fan pull chain was pulled out when the fan was on medium speed. Proof is in the pudding. Let's turn this back on. I'm going to turn it on high and voila. That's going way faster than it was before. And I know that's on high. I know that's on high. Now I can, I can control everything at the fan switch on the wall. I can turn it down to medium. And now it's slowing down. Can you see that it's slowing down there? Do you remember at the first of this video, this was how fast it was going. Okay, see how much slower it's going? And if you've got a room that doesn't have an air conditioner, I'll bet you want that ceiling fan on high, don't you? And even if you do have an air conditioner in that room, don't you want people to use your ceiling fan in the high position? Because maybe they won't have to use air conditioner at all or very seldom. Okay, now I've turned the ceiling fan to low position. See how low and slow it's going now? Really slow. It's turning a little bit of air still in this room. So if you think, what's the use of having a ceiling fan with having it in the low, low position? You know, it moves the air. I can feel it just barely. And maybe that's all you need to get a good night's sleep. Just that. Well now, I can control everything at the wall that I need. Put it back in the high position, and now I'm turning it off. Just the way a ceiling fan is supposed to work. Hey, now you know.
I gotta go for now. But I'll be back with more videos.